Welcome back, Central Georgia. Mm -hmm. Halloween is this week on Thursday. And yes, it's a school night for all the kids, but they may want to go out and trick or treat. And I'm here with Bibb County Sergeant Sakira Wooten. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Of course. And what are some reminders for parents who will be walking with their kids, uh, getting candy this year? Um, one main thing I would like to share with the parents, make sure they have something reflective on. Um, it may mess up their costumes, but they can always go out and grab some glow sticks or some type of glow in the dark bracelet that they can wear so that it makes everybody be able to see them when it's dark outside. Oh, okay. And what are some good places? You mentioned the bracelets, but if they have the sticks, what's a good place to place them on costumes? Um, I would place them around the arms. Um, you can even place them around the ankles or you can place them somewhere up high so that the drivers will be able to see as well as other walkers can see them coming. Okay, and speaking of drivers, what are some things that they should be cautious of? Should they, you know, drive a little slower in a residential area? Absolutely, drive a little slower in the residential area. Um, on Halloween, that's a night where kids and families are out trick-or-treating, going from door to door. So I would definitely recommend lower the speed um, when they're coming through residential areas. Right, and I know there are some neighborhoods that may not have sidewalks, so what's the best way for even drivers and the parents with their kids to stay safe? Should they, you know, walk closely along the road or should they stay in the grass? I would recommend staying in the grass. Um, if there are a house where they don't want anyone walking on that grass, then you can go off the sidewalk just a little bit or off the side of the road just a little bit. But the closer on the grass, the better. Okay, mm -hmm. and I know the Bibb County Sheriff's Office has a fun Halloween event planned as well. So give us a little bit of details about that and when is it? Absolutely. Our annual Halloween festival will be on the day of Halloween from 5 to 8.30 p.m. Um, this is a huge event where we put a lot of time in. We have a free hunted house as well as free food, candy bags, and um, activities for the kids. This is, a, is an event for the entire family, and we look forward to seeing people come out. Um, it provides a safe environment for everyone to participate in. We'll have a DJ, we'll have good music, free food, candy. And the haunted house is always a plus. Oh my gosh! And so, what is what are the kids' favorite things each year? Because this isn't the first time you've done it. The haunted house is always the favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, we even have adults that can't get through that haunted house. So it is. It, it, I am looking forward to it. Like I said, we put a lot of hours in yes. to make this a grand event because um, the end result is what we look forward to seeing the smiling faces. Um, on the kids' faces at the end. Oh, well, that seems pretty exciting yes. and something for the parents and the kids to do for themselves. So Absolutely. thank you so much, Sergeant Wooten, for coming. Thank you for having me. And you can find more of a Halloween safety guide and this interview right now on our website, 13wmaz.com.